a new journey awaits us. A journey that will bring highs and bring lows. A journey that is going to take us through management. We're going to manage a football club and it's a very hard task and what club is it going to be? It's going to be Everton. You know why? That is my club. That is the team I support. The good team. Got a good squad of players. Um, haven't got the most money but got enough money to spend. But it's not about money baby. It's about desire. It's about true heart and it's about getting results as a manager through whatever me whatever means necessary anyway um, this career mode uh, this manager career mode are going to be playing on world class i'm just going to um, do all the european club stuff um, <clears throat> even though we are not playing in it unfortunately uh, obviously going to play goodson park uh, we we didn't financial strictness because uh, ain't nobody got time for them um, no strict transfer budget even though ken Wright. Ken Wright for Everton doesn't seem to want to give us anything at all in real life and my name is going to be JL which is my name backwards as you may already know and um, we're, in we're English, we're going to rock a shirt and tie, uh, rock, rock a navy suit colour, skin's going to be fair and regular body build and as you can see here Everton appoints L as new boss, as you can see um, the fans are excited, they don't know this guy, what's he going to turn out like, what's he going to be for their club, who knows but anyway I haven't even introduced myself yet. Welcome back to another video, guys. My name is LJ, and here's a new series for you. I'm going to be doing a series with Everton FC, and we are going to take Everton to greatness. Um, just a few update emails, and he wants us to qualify for the Champions League. It's going to be a hard effort, but you know what? I think we do, we can do it. Get a good few signings in. Get uh, the the team playing the right way, as you can see here. Um, uh, there's all the players I've put up alone, just um, a lot of the young players, and we are gonna try and sell my guy Gay for um, because I just I think his time's up at Everton. I don't think he's done much. Don't think he's, he has a right to be at the club, and I think he's just he's just wasting away really. And as you can see, the lone players try already Delafeu and Lukaku. Barry is not down for some reason. I, I've got no idea why he's already signed for us, but I'm probably gonna sign him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And this is my starting lineup. <clears throat> I'm gonna play. I just coughed. Um, sorry if um, I've, it's me hay fever. So, so sorry if I'm um, coughing all up on the mic, trying, uh, trying to pass you on the sickness. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, we have got um, a four-two-three-one formation wide, and that's gonna be our. These players are gonna be like that's our strongest lineup. That's our first lineup. Although I'm, I'm a type of a uh, manager which will want to rotate a bit. I'm gonna bring a few players in, try and get competition for places and um, whatnot. Uh, but with regards to how we're going to play, we are going to uh, move the ball fairly quickly up the pitch, but try and keep possession. Um, we're not going to try and tr try too many long balls, as you can see there. Going to be organised in the build-up play. And with regards to creating chances, we want a free form. We want us to move off the ball. Um, lots of interchange, lots of ticky tacker, nice, lovely passing all the way through. And um, we want to get a lot of crosses in the box, uh, the box because we've got a, the two big lads up front, Rom and... Um, with Haku and Traore and we want to get quite a few shots in um, not do too many risky passes keep hold of the ball and with regards to the defending we are not going to uh, have a, um, a wide spread we are going to keep nice narrow and compact we want to force teams out right wide because we've got two very good headers in the ball of Distan and Jags and um, Stones who's our backup so that's that's going to be the, uh, the custom formation we're gonna uh, the custom ta tactics we're gonna rock with and uh, with regards to pressure and aggression we are going to press high up the pitch we're gonna be de aggressive in our press and we're gonna try and win the ball high up the pitch we're not gonna let teams have a minute we're gonna be a very energetic side hopefully if the players can adapt to my tactics and I'll just sort the player roles out there in uh, my Baines free kicks corners Morales and we have got our first signing in at Emirac Laporte who plays for Athletic Bilbao and he is a um, a centre back. He's a tall centre back, um, left footed, and he looks like an absolute gem. We signed him for four million, and we are trying to sign Andre Almeida from Benfica, 
um, he's a right back we haven't got too much competition for right backs um, as we have Seamus Coleman in the right back position and Tony Hibbert is our next in line but John Stones can also play right back but I want to out and out right back I want to play Stones as a centre back really and we make another signing in Joseph um, Huisbauer oh, that, 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 that's how I'm going to say his name from now on anyway um, I, I caught both of them two signings uh, Laporte and Huisbauer through um, the, the the scouting system, I, uh, I set up a scouting system. I said it was to Brazil, Italy, and Spain. Uh, I was looking for a centre back, which um, tall, promising, defensive minded. You know, you know the deal. And as you can see here, we are just looking at the players we just got. He is 23, 70 overall for Heus Bauer. He um, not not as good as what I expected him to be, but he'll he'll still fit in and probably progress nicely. And Laporte today looks very good with him um, a 74 rated. Um, 74 rating is only 19 what a gem we picked up for very cheap there as well and we signed another centre back from Brazil uh, Brazil <laughs> um, I'm, I'm loving the way I'm, I'm pronouncing these stuff these things uh, these these names and he is 1964 overall we picked him up for only 200k I think it was 240k and it says right there Everton bag a bargain I know a bargain when I see one I picked him up from Brazil I think it was Santos and um, we signed him from yeah 210,000 we signed him for and he looks a monster as well he's six foot three so we've got two go go back up centre back stop back up centre back to go progress through and hopefully take over the reins when um, Jags and this time I've finished and yeah yeah man uh, it's, it, we're going to get into the pre-season uh, this episode I'm going to show you all three pre-season games but I'm only going to show you the goals uh, I want I want a bit whiz past it uh, I'm taking, I'm, I'm, I'm taking, I'll take, I'll take a footage from further on. I want to show you all the times and stuff first, and then show you the games. If you want them, why it's a bit out, out of touch as it showed the Norwich game is going to be played there. But anyway, we're getting to our first preseason game. Preseason game. You can see the lineup right there, and this first preseason game isn't going to go well. Nope, no Siri. No, we go behind. Uh, I'm basically just going to show you the highlights. But um, this game, we didn't excuse. We didn't pass the ball well enough. Uh, McGeady slot a nice goal in there, but yeah, we didn't pass the the ball well enough at all, and we we were sloppy at the back. It wasn't a good performance at all. Um, it was it's a it's a team effort, and just nah, not not none of them were up up to it. Not not at all. But we want to play nice, attractive football. The way Edmonton play already, we want to move the ball, play from the back, um get lots of get lots of players involved, keep possession, uh, but get on the got get on the uh, get on the opposition players quick when they're on the ball and attack quickly and move quickly the ball but whilst also passing it out nicely but we have to step it up. We have to step it up in pre season because that game weren't good enough. But as you will see now we go absolutely ham in these last two games against Kievo Verona and AC Milan and we just go off completely. Um, with regards to the signings I made, I signed two centre blocks um, that's just going to be back up to like, try and progress and bring them through. That Laporte looks very 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 exciting, he looks a very very good player um, and I want to sign an uh, attacking midfielder as well. Uh, just someone because we've got Ross um, as our attacking midfielder and Osman as our backup attacking midfielder. But I also want um, I want so I want someone else to sit in the hole to be able to play there as well. Uh, the reason why we signed another defensive mid is that we've got Barry and McCarthy and Gibson in them positions, but that's not enough. We need we need another man, and I want to try and bring a lot of youthful players through. So even Joy plays, but we've already got maybe set up a youth academy. You know what I'm saying? Um, but in these games, with regards to these two games, they were absolute goal fests. They were absolutely fantastic to watch. I mean, we really stepped it up. Complete. We were just awesome if I'm honest with you. I mean we 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 were just ruthless in Ontario for Jay. We absolutely swagged it out on these two teams as you can see in the colony with the little dance. Uh, but yeah, fantastic. Uh, to uh, last two games you'll see the AC Milan game and there is my lineup for that game as well. Uh, if you want if you want to see the all lineups just pause the video on this part and 
you'll see, I, I rotate the teams a lot, there. there's not one same lineup, and unfortunately, right here, Sully Montari has to go off, injured for AC Milan, very, very unfortunate, and then James McCarthy rockets us in front, I assure you, keep watching, because this game is unbelievable. This game is mad crazy with nine goals. Uh, yeah, I'm telling you right now, there's nine goals in this game. And if that can't keep you watching, I don't know what can. Nine goals in one game. That is absolutely off the charts. What a game this was. It was an absolute pleasure to be involved in. As you can see, I'm well, knocking in an absolute screamer there. Right after we've um, already put one past them just a few a few minutes later. We're back on the attack. And that's what I want to see from the boys in blue. The fans are absolutely go, absolutely going mental. What a game they're witnessing. And what a season they will be in store for if we play like this. We are absolutely awesome. And if I'm going to be honest with you, I wanted to make a few more signings. If I'm honest with you, if, if I'm totally honest with you, I want some more, but we just don't have the money for it. I don't really want to sell anyone, you know. Uh, my guy Gay is the only the only one I want to sell. I, I don't want to sell anyone else, else at all, really. Like, no. I think we've got a fantastic squad um, as uh, the season has finished in real life already. We had an absolutely unbelievable season with Everton. We were unlucky to um, miss, off, miss, miss out on the Champions League spot. It was high, highly highly unlikely for any team who gets over 70 points not to get in the Champions League spot and we were there for a little while we were there we were so close but then Arsenal they're experienced they know how to act in these situations and they just snatched it and snatched it from us in the end and man that was heartbreaking it was absolutely heartbreaking I don't know what else to say it was just it was just really hard to take if I'm honest with you and if you any of you watched the World Cup last night we England played Uruguay and we got we didn't deserve to win we didn't deserve to win at all we didn't give a good, good confidence of ourselves a lot of big players didn't step up to the plate but enough of that all this video was I know I'm really talking much about the gameplay but it was just to tell you what's going on what this series is about I'm going to be talking more about the gameplay soon I'm going to be telling you more about the transfers where I'm aiming for what I'm aiming for with the squad what I'm aiming to do but anyway guys, I am absolutely buzzing to get the season under the way. We will be playing the next two games in the next episode. And thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed the episode, why not hit that like button? Why not subscribe for more content? I'll see you next time.